Good morning guys in today's video some cool a Bitcoin price information what is the price going to do who is going to help me with this TA Lisa and Edwards and Sean from hard fucking are going to help me with this one I am going to talk to you about the order book because we can see in the order book that we still are a kind of bullish yes maybe we broke out of these triangles we've been talking about so much but the order book says something completely different than many articles are saying at the moment yes also talking about India because they need to make up their mind are they now going to ban Bitcoin or not going to ban Bitcoin and if they are going to ban Bitcoin are they really going to find you with 3.3 million US dollar and are they really going to put you into prison for 10 years for having Bitcoin Poo. I don't know watch this video to see what I think oh yeah my beautiful golden Emily Bitcoin debit card was just eaten by an ATM I don't like this but shit happens guys enjoy this video today and don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the bell button share it and leave a comment thank you just took my card so goodbye Bitcoin card I don't know what it's saying temporarily out of service I need to call a number guys let's call the call center good morning guys from the beautiful island of Copangan let's take a jump into my office my hotel office on this beautiful beach here in Chalak Lam in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Guys, I am very cheerful saying good morning, but my morning is not this good, guys, because I planned this crazy cool video where I wanted to show you how I withdraw Thai bots out of an ATM using one of my Bitcoin cards. And you guess what happened? Yes, the ATM machine took my card. This one is my special card, my golden card by Emily with a beautiful image of my own face and my name Bitcoin Dad on it um, the machine just took my card it was a metal card maybe that was the problem maybe these machines are not equipped for these metal cards yet um, but I called the service number and they are going to try to fix the problem and give me my card back today so let's see what will happen with that but I wanted to show you how I could exchange my Bitcoins into Thaibot on a very easy way with an ATM machine I need to do this another time let's see how the banking system is working here on Thailand maybe they are even better than the Netherlands and maybe I had just some bad experience in the Netherlands so maybe they will fix it here like very fast and, and then I will have my beautiful golden metal Bitcoin card, a debit card back before you know it maybe even today let's see um, but again an example of a huge centralized organization just taking your card for whatever reason it might be and you just need to run after them you need to call them you need to wait and all that shit you need to do to get your card back I just really don't like this that's why I think this evolution of the technology is going to bring us to a new era where we will just be using maybe only telephones or maybe even chip in the tips of our fingers or something like this and um, we need to get rid of this old-fashioned traditional monetary system where we need to use plastic or metal cards when it comes to the price of bitcoin today guys i'm going to leave the biggest part up to lisa because i'm joining sean and lisa in his show on hardforking.com so first guys let's take a jump into lisa's ta session good morning guys straight into a bitcoin chart Woo! <laughs> uh, right, right now in btc we're dropping because of that um, but we haven't broken the low yet. So we're looking here. So if we break this low, uh, we've got sort of about, mm, maybe about nine, sort of 100 ish. Um, you know, if we break that, then we're going into a different pattern right now. I still think we're in the same pattern. We should hang around that sort of, you know, that pivot here that we've got this first support. And we should head back up and retest this all time high resistance, which is, you know, proving to be this massively difficult thing 
that we just can't break at the moment. So there's not enough volume, there's not enough buyers in the market. And, you know, we just keep printing tether, coming back down, printing tether, coming back down. So essentially whales are, you know, trapping these breakout traders or breakout traders. I know there's lots of them. I've seen them on Twitter. I'm not laughing at you, but it's like, yeah. Um, so we should we should sort of hear about the 9600, 9700 mark on Bitcoin um, before we have another drop, which will probably take us down to this bullish pivot, which is about 8,422 on this chart. It sort of varies a little bit on other charts. Uh, this is a Bitfinex chart right now. Um, yeah, so I, I, Bitfinex tends to work within the um, algorithms like perfectly. So that's why I tend to sort of look at this chart rather than other ones. Uh, Bitmex charts always have really long weeks because of the liquidations and the, the way that the um, trading engine works on Bit bitmex um it just you know it just sort of is a little bit more extreme and the wicks are a little bit more extreme so you can make um if you allow for those you can make a little bit more profit if we go to a bitcoin dominance chart let me have a look at this so the reason i still think bitcoin is still going up is because we are holding this channel support on the dominance chart so um right here we can see it's green again today so we should for this uh, next bounce, we should come up, we should retest this resistance again, and then come back down to this channel support. And then once we've retested that channel support, which is should take us down to that 8,400 pivot, then that's when we should be taking off. So when we should be able to break that resistance at that point. So we can see that it's, it's all sort of moving in unison, you know, provided it keeps moving that way. Um, and we and we don't do something extreme like, you know, Donald Trump doesn't retweet his own tweets and talk to himself like he did on the weekend. And <laughs> it was like it was a different person. So <laughs> it's like, Donald Trump, you're doing great. Thank you. Um, yeah, so yeah, as long as, as long as these supports hold and they continue to hold, then all of these patterns are looking great. So uh, if we have a look at the total market cap, we are currently testing a cross support. So if this does break, it's, you know, it's probably not a, an ideal thing. Um, and, you know, we've got a lot of free space in this region to come down. So that could drag the, the market down a little bit more than what it has been. Um, but it could also, this is a total market cap. So if you think about that, um, when BTC starts to drop, a lot of people pull their money out of all the alts. So total market cap can quite substantially drop without, um, you know, all of the markets sort of dropping as well. So, you know, BTC can hold pattern if the total market drop um, chart does drop because it's, you know, that's including alts and it's including everything else because the BTC dominance chart is holding. So, you know, that's kind of what we have to look at at the moment. So um, Ethereum is a uh, holding pattern. So when, when I kind of look at what Bitcoin's doing and I look at sort of all the overall charts, um, I, I look to see, you know, if they're holding pattern, if they're breaking pattern, um, you know, what directions we're going. And by looking at several charts on several different time frames, I can sort of assess whether Bitcoin's going to hold certain levels or whether it's going to move, you know, out of pattern or not. So right now, um, I think we're holding pattern. I think we're going to push right up to that um, long-term resistance again, and then have a, uh, another drop, a two thousand, you know, probably a two to three thousand drop. So yeah. That's pretty much how the markets are looking. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, uh, short and sweet. So thank you so much for your time again, guys. You put a big smile on thank my you. face to, uh, to rip into the week. So uh, we'll see you both next Monday. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I read an article about it and I took a look at the order book of Bitfinex and if we take a look at the order book of Bitfinex, we can see a very bullish movement. This is a little bit strange because the mass of the market and the mass of the TAs is expecting Bitcoin to drop to 7k, even 6k. 
you know they think we won't hold 9,200 300 which we are holding at the moment yes we had a spike downwards but we are back at 9,300 they think we are not holding this and most of the articles you will read will tell you that we are going to see a huge pull pullback to 7k area or somewhere there and yes I also agree with them that we have seen large Bitcoin pullbacks let's take this chart again this one go up yes magic <laughs> this chart shows you all the drops like 30% 40% 50% 70% like uh, again 50% many drops on this chart if we zoom into one of these drops look closer to the drop and you think that you're living in that period of time you might freak out because you see this peak and you have your Bitcoin price is going all the way up and then BAM it crashes all the way back to $200 you think Bitcoin is going to die at that moment this is what you see when you zoom in in this chart this is freaking you out if you zoom in but when you zoom out of these charts like you take a distance then you see wow yes indeed Bitcoin went up crash went up crash went up crash went up. Bitcoin died multiple times Bitcoin crashed multiple times but in average Bitcoin only grew and that is how you need to look at the market um, other very strange news guys India we just said I just said two weeks ago wow so cool India is accepting Bitcoin again because the central bank of India announced that now all these crypto companies should be able to open bank accounts and all that stuff so that was a very positive sign out of India yesterday or the day before I read this article about India again where they are going to ban all the crypto in their country India please make up your mind what do you want you have been a country with a lot of smart technical people and now you want to have a ban on the biggest evolution of technology when it comes to the monetary system ever but the article states that the government is really divided on this issue but the bigger part of the government uh, wants to have a ban on the total crypto market and yes they also said okay and we will make some fines for if people do buy Bitcoin and do sell Bitcoin so trade in Bitcoin or whatever or hold Bitcoin these fines they're even higher than we read like a few weeks ago than the fines that Russia announced now India takes the fine to another level like closer to the moon <laughs> India's fine if you have cryptocurrency or trade cryptocurrency the fine is 3.3 million US dollar but be happy because you can also choose the alternative and that is just 10 years in prison in a beautiful prison in India I really can't believe this anymore how can a country like India do this or announce this they cannot refuse the, the biggest evolution in the monetary technology they cannot deny that this is blockchain and Bitcoin they cannot put a ban on something that is probably there to save a lot of people why are they so afraid that they will give you a 3.3 million US dollar fine if you do have bitcoins or even 10 years in prison I think these punishments are harsher than if you drug traffic in India it is just unbelievable that I read this now mixed signals let's see how this drama story will develop and let's see how big this story will have an influence on the Bitcoin price of the community and all the developers that are based out of India that was the video for today guys I hope you enjoyed this short video if you did please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel click the bell button so you will be notified on every new video we make maybe even share the video and leave a comment did you just enjoy my new beautiful your click thing there that I was created on Fiverr if you don't know what Fiverr is just check the links below the video you can get very cool jobs done there for not too much money because all kinds of freelancers there um, are providing their service to you for normal prices this beautiful click pop up sharing thing <laughs> you just saw was created by a guy on Fiverr he did a great job like I always say guys zoom out in Bitcoin zoom in in life enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living see you tomorrow again. bye